One area that saw baseball size hail was Prosper getting uh, we're getting quite a few reports from that area of vehicles with dented roofs and cracked windshields and homes with roof damage or broken windows. Another hard hit area in Collin County is Plano. We got some viewer video from there. Hail damaged homes, businesses and cars across the area. Channel 8's Marcus Moore shows us one dealership that took a hard hit and what they're doing to recover. Friday night's hailstorm pounded parts of North Texas with devastating results. The damage spread across cities and towns in Collin County, including Plano, where several car dealerships like Don Herring Mitsubishi sustained serious damage. It's, it's quite a mess. Saturday is usually the busiest day of the week. Instead, it was spent assessing the damage and realizing the gravity of how much of a loss this very well could be. Driving in this morning, it, that, then it becomes reality. Okay, what are we gonna do? As far as the eye could see in this lot, hoods and roofs dented, glass shattered. To break this windshield, I mean, that's it's pretty impressive. It is too early for a complete damage estimate in terms of the dollar amount, but when you consider that there are nearly 400 cars in this lot and almost all of them sustain damage, you get a sense of just how expensive this storm will be. But it also means prime time for those looking to catch a good deal on a car. There's a thousand dents on that roof panel. Gordon Murr does paintless dent repair and is among those already looking for a potential deal. And I'm out here actually looking to buy something and if I can go fix it, you know, I, it's just my time. Doesn't cost me anything to fix. Only time will tell what will happen with all of these cars, whether they get repaired or replaced. You just got to move forward, move on, and, and uh, you know, you fix what you can, and, and uh, you just got to deal with the rest. All the while hoping this most recent hailstorm is the last one for a while. In Plano, Marcus Moore, Channel 8 News.